Moving on to the glittering, star-studded Top Gear Awards for Motoring Achievement 2008. Yeah. 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 Here we go. Right. This is the award for the best noise we've heard all year. These are the nominations. The V8 bellow of the new Mercedes CLK Black. The V8 bellow of the Ferrari Scuderia. And the V8 bellow of the Alfa Romeo 8C. Well, the winner of this category. The winner, you're going to love this, Jeremy. Is it the black? No, actually, the winner is... Will Young's new single! Yeah! <laughs> yes! 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 yes. Wow. He actually wells up when he hears this. There's a real tears in his eyes. These He's are moving. tears of rage. <laughs> you love him, just admit it. No. You do. Just a good single, though, actually. Have you heard it? See, he goes on about it all the time. It's because his boyfriend sung a little song. Just <laughs> let's... <laughs> Does he sing it to you? Does he? Can we get on with our awards, <laughs> James? And now the John Sargent Award. This is awarded to the celebrity who performs the best dance on learning their time in the star in a reasonably priced car lab. <laughs> there is only one nomination, and it's JK for this. <laughs> and the winner is... It's JK! Yes! <laughs> Since you're actually here, Merry Christmas. Nice to see you. Since you're actually here, James, we can give you your other award. James has yes. it, and it's for it's the award for the fastest lap, and it goes to Mr. K. Thank you. The very fastest lap. Can I just ask? You actually spent some money on that. No, really, no, we haven't. <laughs> Can I just ask? Okay, a couple of weeks ago, were you watching when Kevin McLeod came here, and I sat and went, "You did it in one forty-five point." What was the shape of your bottom when you thought? <laughs> you were well, I, I have to say, I started off on the sofa like this, and ended up <laughs> like that. Yeah. Did you tell it was a quick lap? Yeah, we could see it was. Where yeah. did he come from? I don't know. He oh, came from nowhere. Grand Designs, damn nearly... Unbelievable. Well, he says he's not done any driving before, so... No, it's just so raw talent. That's a load of bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Ladies you very much. Man, the fastest man around Thank after. you very much, Jake. Thank you. Now, it's nice to see you, mate. Thanks for your Well done. Thank you. Right, moving on. This now is the award for the most painful injury to a motoring-related body part. <laughs> Nominations are Jeremy's neck in the Nissan GTR. Oh, yes. <laughs> ah. <laughs> well, a powerful contender, that one. The next nomination, Jeremy's neck in the driving a truck <laughs> through a brick wall bit. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry, different response. <laughs> it's, uh, Very different reactions. Yeah, there. astonishingly different reactions to that. And then, um, because we need a, a third nomination. Um, uh, Jeremy's flick on the air just then, and I'm sure that was very, very nasty. It but hurt. Yeah, well, that was the third nomination. And, and actually, uh, it isn't the winner, because the winner of the award for the most painful injury to a motoring-related body part is Max Mosley's bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, whoa, 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 whoa. OK. We might be in the law courts. Yeah. Right, uh, moving on to our next award. Um, it is now the Most Embarrassing Flirting on Television Award. <laughs> In third place, James May for this fantastic, what? sonorous approach when presented with two girls during our Alfa Romeo trip through Warwickshire. I have been rescued and I haven't even broken down. Well, then you don't get... Hello. <laughs> You have to start with hello. <laughs> What's next? Right, in second place, 
Jeremy Clarkson for this inept charm offensive on an American girl in our studio only the other week. <laughs> American. You're American? Oh. You can't be, you know, when they're fat enough. <laughs> It was direct, it Is was a compliment. No, it, it was a compliment, but that's not the winning entry because the winner is Jeremy Clarkson interviewing Will Young. Oh. Here he is. <laughs> Here he is. And my Let's have a look. Let's remind ourselves. Let's remind ourselves of when the magic first bloomed for us all. Here it is. Just got arms like pipe cleaners. You're quite trim, actually. I mean, not trim, fit. <laughs> not fit. I'm saying all the wrong things. <laughs> <Strong>. <laughs> Would like to see Richard Hammond strangled on television. You did it. You did kill it. Now it's time for our coveted car of the year. Okay. Now we're not just looking for a car we all like, because then it would be a Range Rover again. So this year um, we decided to award the award to a car that does things better than cars which cost a lot more. Okay. So the nominations are the <laughs> Nissan GTR, which goes around the Nurburgring faster than a 911 Turbo, but costs half as much. The Ford Fiesta makes a perfect landing craft, and for a lot less than the £1.2 million jet boats the Royal Marines use at the moment. And the Fiat 500 of Bath for being everything you want in a £100,000 car for just 13 and a half thousand. But we've awarded the ultimate Top Gear prize to a 35,000 pound car that came here and smashed the Bugatti Veyron's one million pound face in. It's dweeby, it's geeky, it's ugly, it's old, and none of us would have one in a million years, but it is our car of the year, ladies and gentlemen. The Caterham R500! <laughs> <laughs> the marvellous thing about awarding this car our top prize is that we can now look once again at that incredible lap it did last week at the hands of the Stig. Here we go. Look at the way it corners. This is proper old-fashioned racing car handling this. It's not great. Look at that. You actually have to drive that car. If the Stig feels happiness, I don't think he's ever been happy. No, no, that right is just now. the perfect Stig car. Look at, look at it. You're just <laughs> steering on the throttle, you're steering on the wheel. You've got to drive it. My favourite is when he comes out of Hammerhead, OK? Coming out of Hammerhead, just watch a four-wheel drift. Ready? Look at that, that's like an old-fashioned racer. It's brilliant. So there we are, everybody. Top Gear's car of the year. A wonderful thing. I'm delighted. I'll give you the right. Horrible car. But yeah, I mean, you look at it, but it's brilliant.